We visited Umkai, Sajlun Castle and Jarash on a day trip from Amman. Hiring a car with a driver for 70 dinars booked at the hotel. In this video we explore two sites, Umkais and Ajlun. Then Jaraj will be shown in the next video. Jordan roughly has the size of Portugal and is bordered by Israel, Syria, Iraq and Saudi Arabia with a small coastline along the Red Sea, separated by the Gulf of Aqaba from Egypt. Almost all of the country, roughly 90% is desert. There are hardly any rainfall which occurs sporadically in spring. In the small corner of the country near the border with northern Israel and southwest Syria, the influence of the nearby Mediterranean Sea creates a very different climate. This area is hilly, reaching over 1000 meters, and has a regular rainfall from the late autumn to the spring, meaning a much greener landscape. Umkais is nestled on the hills above the Jordan Valley, just two hours north of Amman, is a diverse array of sight to see on the northwesternmost corner of Jordan. This site was famously known as the ruins of the Decapolis city of Gadara, but today is known as Umkais, meaning Mother of Kais. Umkais is mentioned in the Bible as the location where Jesus performed the miracle of the gathering swine. The site was home to the ancient city of Gadara, which was well located on the trade route between Syria and Palestine. It became a popular holiday resort for Romans and was notable for attracting scholars, writers and artists. It was ruled by the Romans as a part of the Decapolis League in around 63 BC and the city was a reward for King Herod the Great in the 31st BC. The site is divided into three main areas, the archaeological site of Gadara, the traditional Umkais village, and the modern town of Umkais. The variety of influence in this area plays a large part to the drastic juxtaposition you will see between an abandoned Ottoman era village and ancient Roman ruins. The site of Umkais sits at a crossroads between three countries. On a bluff overlooking the Sea of Galilee in Israel, the Jordan Valley and the border of Syria. From the edge of the village you can see the Syrian Golan Heights, Lake Tiberias and the northern Palestinian plains. Just a short drive from the city, there are natural hot springs have been used for their therapeutic properties since Roman times and continue to draw visitors seeking relaxation and rejuvenation. Next destination, Ajlun Castle, was an hour away from Umkais. It is a 12th century Muslim fortress, strategically built at the crossroads of three main passes into the Jordan Valley, under the rule of the Sultan and military leader Saladin. We visited the castle at the busiest day of the week, Friday, which is a weekend in Jordan. Ajilun Castle is located on the site of an old monastery, traces of which were discovered during archaeological excavations. Tradition has it that the name Ajilun goes back to a Byzantine period monk who lived in the area. The castle protected the people from the Crusaders, which were camping on the other side of the Jordan Valley with several Bedouin camps. In the mid-13th century, it got partly destroyed by the Mongols, but also restored again. 
It has been in use till the early 19th century, where the earthquake destroyed most of it, and again in the early 20th century. Today it's open for the public to visit the partly restored castle areas. Within a few hundred meters from the castle, there is conveniently located Artemis restaurant with freshly baked traditional bread and broad choice of meal options and local specialities. If you enjoyed watching this video, I encourage you to subscribe, click like and hit notification bell button to get updated of the new releases.